Hey guys, it is Garrett Stewart with Command Console, and I'm so excited to let you know the newest magazine, branded magazine, for you to share with your sphere, clients, and everything in between is now available on InDesigns. Now, to be able to create this, all you're going to have to do is go into uh, Command, and we're going to go right into Designs here. Once you click on Designs, we'll load that up, and we're going to hit Create Design. And then from there, this is going to be considered a print material uh, for those that do want to print it. Uh, you can still email it out uh, that portion as well. But uh, we're going to go ahead and click print there and hit continue. And we're going to go into uh, there. Uh, now you're going to go into the category of scroll down to lead generation. And there is personally branded zine right there. And you're going to see the most recent as well as past versions of the magazine. But you can see right there, 2022 Q2 is now available. So all you gotta do is hit use, and it's gonna boot right into the magazine for you. Once that loads in, you're going to be able to uh, go in here and be able to fully edit it for what you're looking for. So, uh, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and minimize that, hit skip there. And so you're gonna see actually all the pages in your magazine. We'll start off right there and hit pages. And you can see all 20 pages that are available. Now, first thing to know is you have three cover options. Normally it's pretty traditional for them to give us a few cover options. So first things first is figure out which one you like. You have the first one here. Uh, you can kind of click through, you got a second. And you've got third. So whichever one you're feeling, go for that one and uh, you'll be able to do it. So let's just say I wanted to do this one. Uh, well, what you'll do is hover over the others that you chose not to go with and hit those three dots and then just hit delete. Yes, we'll delete it. Same thing with this one, delete it. Now you notice that we're down to 18 pages, perfect. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and edit everything on the page. To change out your logo on the top, you'll utilize that logos option. Uh, and hopefully you have your logo saved in here. If you don't, make sure you update your marketing profile and your assets uh, within designs to be able to do that. Uh, I always recommend uploading multiple logos on here. So I have my red and white, but this one's a red and gray, so we're gonna replace it with that. I can just drag and drop that right onto there. If I wanted my personal logo, I could click and I can actually drop that on there too if I want to. So uh, it's completely up to you. Uh, I can double click on the text to start changing out the name, or you can click on the text box and just hit a typewriter to have an easy, even easier way to change out that text. That'll be only the things you need to do on the front. You can always add your own photo if you want to. Absolutely, no problem. Uh, you know, if you wanted that brand recognition with maybe having a headshot uh, or something on there, uh, we could, you know, drop that in there and, you know, put me in the corner or something like that. But that is a possibility. You could just select a photo in the images <clears throat> by clicking that plus button, it'll drop it in and you can resize it to where you want. Um, okay, so we've got that first page uh, selected now we'll, or created. Now we'll go ahead and click on that second page to edit that one. So from here, this is where you're gonna be able to edit um, everything on there. So you're gonna do the same thing, drag and drop your logo onto there. You can drag and drop your headshot on there and uh, to replace that headshot there. Um, and then you can replace that you know, team name. Uh, it kind of went over a little bit, so you might have to you know, drag and drop that over. Once you have that all drag and dropped over, you'll be able to, you can replace team name stuff or photos, all of that. Again, just use, utilizing that drag and drop option, any text, you can select a text box and double click on it to edit or click that typewriter button once you select it to edit that out. So once you edit whoever that is for the note from agent or team, you'll be able to um, save those changes. And uh, this does, which I like, it kind of already has like a note, the note created for you. So you don't have to, I, I don't know about you, but I hate recreating the wheel on, on these types of paragraphs and stuff so if this isn't your forte either this is great for you and you can just edit uh, a little bit here if you want to you can um, 
add your own in here instead. Uh, one thing to take note is you're going to have to, it gives you the option whether it's a team or solo agent person writing this. So you're gonna have to change it between my and our uh, real quick and easy and I'll just, if it was my, right there, and you would just go through and, and fix that for the all of it. Next thing we're going to do after we edit all of that, make sure we have everything else all update on that page. We're just gonna go to the next page and we're just gonna go page after page and update. Uh, this one gives you opportunity to do quarterly review. Uh, this kind of gives you opportunity to do a neighborhood market snapshot and a company snapshot. Here, it, depending what you wanna do, uh, I uh, do it with my specific uh, cities instead. So it's gonna be up to you if you wanna do like personal market snapshot, neighborhood snapshot, uh, anything like that. So um, just keep that in mind, just because it's saying insert a neighborhood, uh, local neighborhood that you wanted to focus on, you could just do it as one city uh, and, and two cities, kind of if you're working kind of two different cities together. So uh, kind of look at that, see what works for you. The next page here uh, is the first article. Great thing is, don't have to change a thing. Next page here, don't have to change a thing. I love that. Same with the, the next page, it's just all the article stuff. Then it goes into a uh, feature image page. Whoops, or feet. There we go, I don't know why I was selecting for me. Uh, a featured listing page. With this featured listing you, you, uh, page, you'll be able to actually add in um, anything about any specific listing if you wanted. You can pull in pictures right here from the KWLS and look it up there. Uh, so you could look up the address or MLS number, um, anything like that, and then drag in pictures and add in any information if you wanted to. I know listings are going still relatively quickly for the most part, so this may be a page you want to nix off of uh, this specific one. Uh, once you, uh, we'll go over to this next page here. On this next page is the next article of Six Ways to Embrace Warmer Weather, and this will have, uh, it's a two-pager uh, through here. Uh, don't have to edit any of that, we'll jump to page 10. Uh, this is going to allow you to do your little, um, essentially, basically, a, almost a resume. Uh, if you've done this and created the magazine before, you could utilize and should have that same data. Uh, might update a few things uh, on here if you wanted to. Then the next page is a good little success story. You're going to be able to uh, update uh, basically your testimonials. Uh, some tips I've suggested here because uh, it does give little spots to put pictures of your clients on here if your clients don't want to be photographed on there or I don't know sometimes if you're like me I like to get photographed whether at the title company with them or at the um, in front of the house giving them the key whatever it is um, we can uh, do that so then we're going to so you'll just be able to add and edit all that stuff just by how I've told you how to edit text click on a text box you can either double click on it or Click on the typewriter once you select it to go into that edit mode. Uh, same thing, add images. You can just go and add images. If you need to uh, add your own, you can hit add and you can search for images on your computer just by clicking that little button right there. So pretty easy. All right, next page is going to be our last article on here. You can see it is three pages. Uh, so we're just gonna skip through all that because you don't have to edit any of that. The page 15 is going to be the Blooming Springs listing. So uh, basically, um, your listings, more listings that you want to feature. Again, if you don't want to, that's fine. It could be some recently sold listings. That may be easier uh, still in this market. So up to you on that. Um, and then finally, to finish it off, we'll have an ask an agent. So uh, this gives a, it gives a prompt, whether you wanna use this prompt or another thing. What home improvements can boost my property value without burning a hole in my wallet? Uh, so you could, you know, whether you answer that question or a different question, uh, you can answer that right in there or, um, or maybe reach out to some clients and see what questions they have and maybe make that your feature 
a question for Ask an Agent, and then just go over to your assets and drop your headshot right in there. So uh, you'll be able to just drag and drop there. Finally, you have two, whoops, two pages left, um, and you can choose which page is the end for your home search app. Uh, so you have both right on there, and you can choose one uh, to do. Uh, so we'll just say, well, um, we could just get rid of this one. We'll hit delete. Um, I would say I like the first one more. Cool. Now we're down to 17 pages. One thing to know, if you intend to print this uh, on uh, like a magazine style paper, you're going to need to have it in multiples of four. So either four, eight, <laughs> 12, uh, or 16, um, or 20, which you wouldn't be able to do 20 on here. Um, you'd have to add more pages. So uh, realistically, 16 is gonna be the best page for you. So uh, in that case, you're going to want to filter one out. So just choose which one you wanna filter out uh, and just say, hey, you know, maybe I'm doing that. Uh, I don't wanna do a featured listing. Cool, we'll just delete that, yes. Now we're down to 16 pages. So when we print this, send it to the printer, we'll be able to get a nice printed magazine. To download this, all you gotta do is hit that download button. You have PDF or printing right there. Ask your printer if they want crop marks or bleed um, print set up on there. And then you'll just be able to say all pages and it will print or uh, get the PDF of all pages on there. Uh, you can, if you want to do a teaser for one page, you can uh, download it as a PNG for something uh, like that. Now, if you want to share this, you can of course print and share it. But if you also want to share it with your database, like online, I always will be, I'll be creating a smart plan I'll be sharing in the library. Uh, with a way to share this magazine. Uh, you can actually share it just like I did on this little viewer. You see how I was able to kind of almost have like a little viewer for the magazine. I'll be able to uh, share that link out just by clicking that share button, hit the project, and then you can actually just copy that website address right there. And that will be what you can share out to your database. So really a uh, great way to um, have a quick way to share that out for uh, past clients. Again, watch. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my uh, command console website, you can subscribe for uh, feature releases right here. So you'll get an email from me. Uh, you may have got this video from my email uh, notifying you of a new video. And so you can just enter your email address right there and you'll be notified of my new content. So I appreciate you guys for watching. Feel free to watch my other videos and content on commandconsult.com as well. Just click that videos tab there. Or if you're looking for any other services, uh, you can always check out here, like my newsletter program where we just posted our May newsletter that you'll be able to send uh, some great content for the month of May to your database. Thank you so much. Have a great day.